I'm Masad and I'll be doing zero dilution. I'm Nishant and I'll be doing plating. I'm Michael and I'll be doing gel electrophoresis. I'm Libby and I'll be showing you how to do research online, specifically with research port and PubMed. Hi, I'm going to be going over micropipettes. I wanted to go through the three of them that you'll be predominantly using in your lab. Now, um, you can tell exactly which one you'll be using based on the, um, the well, what it says right here at the top. There's a P20, a P200, and a P1000. Now, let's go over exactly what, what it can carry. So the P20 carries 2 to 20 microliters. As for the P200, this carries the 20 microliters to 200 microliters. And finally, we've got the P1000. And this measures from 200 microliters to 1,000 microliters. 1,000 microliters is also equivalent to one milliliter, which is an important conversion that you'll need to know throughout all of your labs. So let's go over the P20. Like I said earlier, this measures two to 20 microliters. And um, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to set it. So we're going to set this one to five microliters. What we do is we set it to zero, five, zero. You notice there's a um, decimal point at the bottom. If you uh, if you look closely there, it's um, the last number is indicated in red. So this would be five microliters. Now um, what we want to do first is we want to put the, the tip upon the, the micropipette. If you notice, uh, something about the micropipette is that there's two plunges. There's one plunge and then there's the second one. The first plunge allows you to get the desired volume that you set it at, the five microliters, and then the second one releases all of the air within the micropipette. So let's get started. Put our tip on. Make sure it's firmly placed. And we'll bring it right over here to the beaker. Take it to the first plunge. And then right there we have our five microliters. Now if we wanted to put it into a separate beaker or, or some other um, carrying unit, what we would do is we would just put it over to the side and through capillary action it would just seep right down into um, the mix that we wanted it. So the last two micro I wanted to go over are the P200 and the P1000. For the P200 you still use the yellow tips. And then for the P1000, you uh, switch over to the bigger blue tips. So um, if we want to set these, there's the P200. This one's set at 50, 0, 050. 0. And then the P1000 is um, set at 500, 0, 050. 0.